Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we have the JJRC Q63. So I think the other day I reviewed the Q61 I think it was. So this is the Q63. This is new out. And you can see it's on a very similar vein but this one's got six wheel drive. So gearbox here with the motor and then you've got three differentials and independent rear suspension. So if you look the suspension is independent, it's leaf springs all round it has non-proportional steering so it's just on or off steering and the same with the throttle it's quite well detailed as you can see it's a very nice looking truck actually so as you can see the details good, folded mirrors if you want to look, in, so look into the cab if you can see inside there it's quite well detailed, the steering wheel seat and then on the other side let's have a look in the other side so yeah it's nicely detailed no windscreen which I find a bit strange in here no windscreen at all so I'm a little bit surprised at that to be honest normally they have a plastic screen in there as you can see the, sh the chassis is metal with everything bolted onto it and everything else is plastic that's bolted onto it it's all plastic drive the on it houses the 700 milliamp hour battery and you can see it's 700 milliamp hour battery and it just plugs it under the bonnet there's not much room for anything bigger in there to be honest so it's probably as good as you, the best size you're actually going to be able to get in that hole so battery plugs in here just plug the battery in It's got an on and off switch there, as you can see. It's got working lights. The controller runs on two AA batteries. There you go, so you can see your steering is just virtually on or off steering. And then underneath, you can have a look at the drive system. So as you can see that it's just on or off. Now you can convert this because it has actually got a steering wheel that actually moves the full distance. So you could put a servo in there and you could, because the tr throttle is, you could use proportional of this if you wanted to change it, ESP, etc. But for me it's fine. So I bought this from Banggood at 2366 um, because I'm into the military type of thing and it's not, it's just not just because it's RC, it's because it reminds me of my childhood in a very big way. But it's got rubber tyres, they're not bad actually, they're quite soft. They're not plasticky at all. Actually quite surprisingly good. It feels very sturdy, the, the build quality is good, that's probably due to the metal chassis. It has an opening back and I believe it's good for 500 grams plus, so I haven't tried that. But with all these trucks, it's gonna the, pr the proof is definitely in the pudding is how well it drives. So, does it drive well? I think it drives really well. I'm gonna leave you with a video in a minute that will show you it driving. I've I had to get out for a quick drive. I really like it, and I think for the money you can't really go wrong. Yeah, it's not got proportional steering. Yeah, it's not got proportional throttle, but it's a budget truck. And it's a really nice budget truck and it looks fantastic as because like I bought a few of these now uh, I've got some more videos coming up I've got the 62 which is the four wheel version of this and I've also got the video of the 60 which I did the other day but I haven't posted yet and I've also got a tank coming up so as you can see I've got quite into the military vehicle so thanks so much for watching have a fantastic day
thanks very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell thanks for watching